Hill again. McLaren shows early and goes near post and it's off the post. Well, that was some super sharp work by both Leo Natel and then Jamie McLaren and he was only inches away. Fernandez places it out in front of Leo Natel who's around Jacob Muir. Leo Natel! What a brilliant finish by the Brazilian. Melbourne City have the reward for that early dominance. Still plenty of time for Perth Glory to turn this one around. That's a loose ball, though. And Melbourne City pounce. It's two. You can't give Tolgate Arslan that sort of room. He wasn't going to miss from there, even though he was still a fair way out. Now, what did Perth Glory have in response? They won only once on the road this season. That was to the Western Sydney Wanderers back in January, but they're really up against it here. Lecky in towards the near post. It's three, you know. I fancy that's going to be an own goal, scored by Kaelin Majeka Dunby. Leo Mattel spots that little sliver of space for Tolga Arslan. It is four. It goes from bad to worse for Perth Glory. Tolga Arslan has a double, and City are out of sight. Such balance and composure. It could be in again here. Make that five. Leo Natal has a double. Oh, this is horrible. Horrible for Perth. But wonderful, wonderful for Melbourne City. And now the counter could be on. Lovely turn by Arslan. Lovely slip ball through by Lecky. Leo Natal to square it up. They're queuing up here. McLaren! Joins in on the scoring act. It's six of the best for Melbourne City. And Jamie McLaren, he's not had the happiest of campaigns, has his ninth of the season. Steven Jogarkovic looking to get in on the scoring act. It's Tolga Arslan, hat-trick. A round dozen for the season. And his first treble in Melbourne City colours. What an afternoon for Tolga Arslan. Here's Leo Natel. He's seen Tolga Arslan get his hat trick. I'm sure he'd love one as well. City have got numbers here. Jugarkovic. It's eight. Could be a new A League men's record. Steven Jugarkovic joins in the fun for Melbourne City. And Perth Glory have been utterly obliterated.